the uh, Irish Greyhound Board appointed a new Chief Executive Officer, and that is Geraldine Larkin. And in the last week, we took a trip down to Limerick to the board's headquarters there to meet with Geraldine to find out her thoughts on the sport, on the industry, and just see where she sees the future of greyhound racing in this country. <laughs> I'm from a farming background in East Galway. In a way, I feel I've come full circle in that I'm, I'm back doing something that I probably would have started out in quite a long time ago. But added to that, I was previously the regulator for the private security industry and introduced regulation into that industry. So it's a marrying of two very different parts of my background, both in terms of my own personal background and, and that of my professional background in terms of regulation. And, and, and what I'm hoping to do is marry those um, for, the, for the good and the further development of, this, of the greyhound industry. It's been a great couple of weeks since I've come into the industry and, and what really has impressed me is the, the passion and the enthusiasm of all those at all levels throughout the industry, be that uh, trainers, owners, the breeders, everybody is so committed to this to this sport and, and that in turn drives the industry that, that, we, that, that, that is greyhound racing. My priority is to ensure the long-term sustainability of the industry and to develop and grow the industry both nationally and internationally. Currently there is a funding issue and our first proposal from the recent Indicon report is to look and focus at the sale of non-core assets uh, which are not critical to the business. But ultimately, if it comes a point where we're looking at the viability of the entire industry in the longer term, as against the sale of any asset, be it core or non-core, it's a matter that we have to give very serious consideration to. Um, and and that, that has yet to be determined, but it's certainly, I cannot rule it out at this point. We've recently reduced prize money. Difficult decision, but it's it's, it's a decision to, to address that dash issue. And, and also further look at expansion of the Greyhound product, both nationally and internationally, in terms of selling the Greyhound product and the pictures from the Greyhound product abroad. And then looking also at the stadium, we have a, an excellent product in terms of the, the leisure entertainment market. And for me, it's about growing that market in it also. And, and looking at, in bringing in um, Christmas nights, benefit nights. We have a, we've a key role and we, we, we work very closely with our local communities in terms of the amount of fundraising that's done throughout the country. So it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. There's many tracks to this and they'll be all working.